boat stationed at the north of our lighthouse is making the an angle of 30 degree with top of the lighthouse. Simultaneously, another boat stationed at the east of the same lighthouse is making an angle of 45 degree with the top of the lighthouse. What will be the shortest distance between these two boats? The height of the lighthouse is 300 feet. Assume both the boats are of negligible dimension. So let's say we have a lighthouse. Okay, A, B. It's given some height H. Okay, and uh, there is a boat here to the north of the lighthouse, which is approaching the base of the lighthouse. A. So obviously this is ninety degree. Okay, and. Uh, this boat is making an angle of forget it for now and uh, we have another boat to the east of the lighthouse so this is how it is so this is north this is east okay west and south so let's say this is our plane then this is north and another boat is here is the lighthouse okay like this so imagine the 3d view and here is another boat which is approaching the base of the lighthouse okay so because this is north and east pole again the they will make 90 degree here let's name these points c and d now it is given that c is making an angle of 30 degree with the top of the lighthouse so this angle is 30 degree and d is making an angle of 45 degree with the top of the lighthouse okay so we need to find out the distance between c and d the shortest distance between c and d okay so uh, if you just see triangle a b and d okay angle d is 45 degree so if we take 10 45 So tan 45 is 1, so AB equals to AD. So in fact you can remember this in any case whenever this is uh, any uh, angle is 45 degree then both sides will be equal. So next time you don't have to put all this and you can directly write AB equals to AD. So in this case AD is also equals to H basically. Similarly, in triangle ACB, if you see, angle ACB is 30 degree, okay. So, tan 30 degree is AB by AC equals to 1 by root 3. So, AC is root 3 times of AB again if you keep practicing these things you will uh, remember it so the side of a triangle having 30 degree angle is always root 3 times of the other side okay so here in this case AC is root 3 times of H okay so by practice you can directly write these things in exam so you don't have to do these steps again every time now we need to find out cd okay so c a and d is the right angle triangle and we can use pythagoras so again if you uh, remember this pose like this is from north and this is from east these two lines are making 90 degree among themselves okay and boat is uh, the, the lighthouse is like this so imagine one boat coming from north another boat coming from east so these three lines so these two and these three lines are making 90 degree among themselves so if we just apply pythagoras cd uh, square is equals to ac square plus ad square okay so the value of cd will be root under AC is root 3H, so it's 3H square and uh, 
AD is H, so it's H square. Okay. So basically, CD is four H square, hence two H. H is three hundred meters. Give me the question. Sorry, I forgot it's meter or feet. Let me just check. So it's three hundred feet. So H is three hundred feet. So answer is six hundred feet. Okay. So actually, you can solve this problem two steps in exam. So this should be your first equation. You can directly write it if you practice. This should be your second equation, and your third step would be this. So you will directly get answer in third step. Okay. No need to. Follow this entire process, but in these kind of problems, again, I'll say your imagination is more important. That's how you can relate things. If you face difficulties, you can assume this like a room. One uh, edge of the room can be lighthouse, and other two edges you can imagine like boats are approaching from those two edges. Okay. If you have any questions or doubts, you can post in comments. Thank you.